All right, I'm here with manager Buck Britton from the Norfolk Tides. Thanks for your time, Buck. Uh, with 36 wins, how would you va evaluate the first half of the season? Yeah, I, I think inconsistency is a, is a word I would use. Um, you know, there were times where we, where we played really well, and there, there were times that we, we had some letdowns. And, and when, when you do that at this level, uh, you know, it's hard, to, it's hard to win games consistently. So I, I think the, the biggest word is inconsistency, and hopefully here in the second half we can kind of iron some of those out and um, turn some of those losses into wins and, and uh, make a push here. What area of the team do you think is the biggest issue that needs to be addressed in order for better results? I, I, I don't know if there's like to single out different phases of the game because we've been really good in all phases of the game at times. Uh, we just kind of have to put it all together. Uh, you know, obviously everything starts on the mound. Um, you get you get guy you get you pitch well. They keep you in the ball game and, and you have a chance to win. Um, but on the flip side, you know, when we do get those those good outings on the mound, we, we got to be able to come up with that with that big hit, especially with runners in scoring position. Um, and then to tie it all together, you got to take care of the baseball defensively. I, I think that's where a lot of our problems uh, were in the first half. We we were in ball games and we'd make mistakes that kind of put us behind the eight ball, and it's it's tough to it's tougher to take at bats um, when you're down. Um, especially against some of these guys that, that are really good arms in this league. Is there any players that have really surprised you throughout the first half because of their development? Uh, you know, I, we knew um, a lot of the guys we had coming in had a lot of talent. Uh, one of the guys that stands out for me is Billy Cook. Um, kind of what he's been able to do, uh, where he's at right now. Uh, made some swing changes. I think, you know, he, he had a lot of pa he put up a lot of power numbers in Bowie last year, and I think we're starting to see that pop back up in game. But he, he's made some adjustments to become a better overall hitter first, um, and now that power's showing up. So I'm I'm really excited to watch him uh, go in this second half. Absolutely. How would you say Jackson's development has been since being sent back down, and how's his health? Yeah, he's great. He, you know, he's back to hitting. They're gonna they're gonna slow play everything with Jackson just because he's a. It's a prize jewel in the organization. We want to make sure we do right by him. Um, he's been great since he came down. You know, there were, there were some adjustments that he needed to make. You know, you go to the big leagues, and um, the pitchers up there will kind of tell you what you uh, what you need to focus on, what you need to work on. They, they put together a really good plan. Um, he, he had some really good at-bats last night, hit the ball really hard, and I'm looking forward to, to seeing him kind of go in the second half. You know, he had about a week off. Um, hopefully he'll hit the ground running here and um, – Make his make his push to get back. Absolutely. Final question for you: What should we expect from the Tides throughout the second half of the season? Yeah, it's tough to set expectations. This ro this roster is always in flux, but uh, I just I just want to see us play more consistent baseball. Uh, you know, in all facets of the game. You know, get quality starts on the mound, take care of the baseball defensively, and be able to you know drive in runners when we get them in scoring position, and especially on third base with less than two outs. So. Um, I think there's improvement all around the field for us, um, and I'm looking forward to these guys kind of grinding this second half out and um, playing better, a better brand of baseball overall.